when the groundhog sees its shadow. Or groundhog days on the groundhog <laughs> 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 Two. I thought you got rid of them all. We brought the rooster. It's... I thought I got rid of them all too, but I said I uh... had a hishi. Well, no. Well, I, th I had a hishi. <laughs> yeah. I had a hishi, but uh, out of them nine that I hatched this spring, uh, two are roosters. Oh boy! I snuck it in there. Can we sneak? Yeah, 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 can no, we sneak? <laughs> Let us sneak a roo roo in there. Right. Come on, he's beautiful. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. His comb is like the best looking high. rooster. The best looking rooster I ever had, the nicest looking rooster, was the meanest cocksucker I ever seen. He would attack you at the drop of a hat. So I killed him. Yeah. His son is just the same as his daddy. Protege? I killed him too. Yeah, that <laughs> I killed him. They're oh. that bad, eh? Oh yeah, the genetics the genetics there he just Oh, he was a mean fucking rooster. You couldn't walk in there, and if you turn your back, he he would back away from you. Yeah. Like I actually kicked him. Mm -hmm. He was attacking me, and I kicked him, just like a football, up against the wall, down the wall, back at me. I kicked him four times in a row, and he went back against the wall. And finally, he says, "Okay, I'll let you off this time." <laughs> but uh, but it took four times kicking him against the fucking wall before he decided that uh, he'd won. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Imagine that, eh? I'll let you get away with it this time, but, uh, you know. I think you could handle another one, though, because no. you got the experience. Yeah. This one will be like that. Yeah, this one will be a friendly rooster. Yeah, we traded There's the experience them. right there. Okay, yeah. For another rooster. You think that would work? That would work for another rooster. You got some Machete eggs. Joe. Machete Joe. Duck eggs. That's a small one, though, but it's the time of the year, eh? Well, no, a bit because they were May 29th, so small they eggy. just started laying eggs. Yeah, eighteen within months. Within the last, eh? within the last, what you know, six months. Six months. Yeah, within the last, well, May till December. Oh, it's only six months, and they start yeah. laying. Yeah, yeah, ours should be laying soon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck yeah, eh? Yeah, well, I mean, 18 months. Nobody's going to be a lot of editing. To, chicken for 18 months. This is going to be a lot of editing to take out these f bombs. No. Fuck that. Yeah, there's no fucking <laughs> swearing here. We don't freaking swear here. You, know, you just put the blurb up top. Yeah. Subtitle it. Yeah. Don't put your children to this video. Yeah. I always set my videos to not for children, anyways. Yeah. So, can we discuss some of these new knives that you have? Sure. Look at that! This is ebony. Ebony is a really, really beautiful fucking wood. Did I say fucking? I didn't say fuck today. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna say fuck no more. <laughs> uh, anyhow, it's a beautiful. This is what they make the black keys on the piano out of. Yeah. But it's so hard to work with because it gums up my um, sanding belts and my sanding discs. So, and just this knife blew a sanding belt and a sanding disc. Wow. Well, a sanding belt costs about eight bucks. The disc probably costs one or two. So just eight bucks just in sanding it. And then I spend another hour, maybe two hours, hand sanding it while I'm reading books on the computer or whatever. You know, because I'm just getting it rough on the belts and everything else. Mm -hmm. But to get it nice and smooth like this, then I have to spend all the time. But uh, you see these bandages on the hand here? <laughs> I was gonna ask. Yeah, yeah, well that's, uh, the last thing I do to a knife is put the edge on it. But sometimes I get pretty close. And uh, to having a really sharp edge on them. Yeah. So what I'm watching, uh, reading a book on the computer and I'm standing away. What the fuck was that? Yesterday I'm driving to, to town and a, my leg, my hand is sticking to my leg. While I'm looking there, I'm bleeding all over. Well, what the hell is that now? <laughs> That's because I was sanding the knives before I went to town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, like at this point, they have a burr on them and everything else. They, they're really sharp, but they have a burr on them. Well, they haven't, they're not really, really sharp until you get that burr off of them and then it's huh, scalpel material. So how much time do you figure you have in this 
knife right here. Well, it's hard. To, it's hard to say one knife because I do batches of four at a time. Okay. And uh, depending on my state of mind at the time, how how much I put in, but I know that I put at least an hour to two hours hand sanding after I've got everything made hand sanding to get them to the point where I'll zip them. Yeah, yeah. So. There's probably four or five hours in each knife. Uh, some of them are maybe a little bit more. Especially the ones with the pine cones and the well, yeah, bird like feathers, eh? You get the, the feathers in them, like, you know, that's the partridge feather. This is, this is the partridge feather, and it's more detailed because it's sprayed painted the back of it white. So it makes the pop. Makes it pop. Out. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to this, you know, this is nice, but you can't hardly see it compared to this. This makes it jump right out. Mm -hmm. So interesting, beautiful. And how much? So how much is the ebony one going to be worth? Because it it'll be 120, okay. and uh, the rest of them will be. Uh, the rest of the wooden ones are, are about 110, and then anything with epoxy is 120 because or is 120 because epoxy has to be done twice. I have to put the epoxy in the mold. This is the mold here. Okay. I have to put it in Let's the see. mold a little bit, a little bit in the bottom of the mold, and then put the feather on top. Mm -hmm. Because feathers float. I didn't know that the first <laughs> ones I made. And so I'd fill it up to get the right thickness. Mm -hmm. Well, the fucking feather was sitting at the top. Well, when I'm shaping the knife, I'm taking the feather away. So I want the feather in the middle or on the bottom, so I can shape all around and I'm not interfering yeah. with the feather. Yeah. Well, I learned that the hard way, but you know, we learn from experience. Yeah. Learn, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's see this. It's yeah. all learning okay. curve. That's cool. So then I, I, I put the epoxy in that, a little bit in the bottom, I put the feather on top, leave it for three or four hours, and then I can put the rest of the epoxy on it because it's already started to set. It's not fully set, but it's already started to set, and I make sure there's no air bubbles and shit. Right? But that's the original. That gray partridge feather is the original. Like I said, I never saw any of this brown. Yeah. <laughs> until two years ago my buddy phoned me today and he says hey come on over I got a, I got five partridges last night I got more feathers for you brown and uh, gray you, god damn it they're gonna be uh, brown I don't know what's happened in the last two years the genetics of the partridge yeah not only are they brown feathers but they are much longer and wider than average I've ever seen mm -hmm. so, so it's a hybrid maybe well, if it is, it's taken over. Mm-hmm. Could it be there's seven years cycle? Well, it wouldn't change the color. No. <laughs> and I don't think it would change the length of the feathers. Like I saw, I sit at my computer most of the day and then I get up and uh, before I get up to do whatever I'm going to do, whether I get a drink or coffee or whatever, uh, I'll look out the window. Well, the other day I seen a, a partridge out there and he's crossing my little thing there. And I'm, what the fuck is that? It was the shape of a partridge, but it was big, big, big. And he just went across, so I only got him like two or three seconds. Of it. But it was two or three seconds that I realized, is that a pheasant? Hmm. You know, because well, the yeah. size of them. Yeah. But the pheasant has a longer feathers on the tail, you know. No, no it's a partridge. And uh, so I don't know. Well, it was a partridge, that's all there is to it, but Jeezy's a bigger, he's a big bugger. Huh. And I think I sent you pictures. You sent me the picture? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're right out there by my truck. Well, I got a feeder there and a feeder there, so... Uh... But at one time, I've had as many as 12 partridge here at this feeder, 12 mm -hmm. at a time. Mm -hmm. And lots of snow that year, and you can see the trails. They're all out in the bush out here. But you can see the trails. Everybody's heading right to that feeder, so it was uh, the coolest thing. And then uh, two years after that, I had zero partridges. Mm. 
And last year, I think I had one or two. Well, already I've got two this year, and so hopefully they'll spread the word that, hey, the grub truck is here, you know, so. But I'm not allowed to shoot them. Don't shoot them. Don't shoot them. This is a sanctuary, a bird sanctuary. How's uh, any spikies lately running through here? No. Oh, sorry. Did you did you send me that one about that? Uh, no, somebody sent me a, a, a video today of a guy who shot a deer, <coughs> and the deer had a horn coming out of here. Wow. So and it had a rack, <coughs> but it had a horn coming out of here. And so he's one of these people who wants a skull. So he boiled the skull, because that's how you do it to get all the meat yeah. out mm -hmm. and everything else. And there was an arrow through here with a big broadhead, a three three bladed broadhead sticking out here. And that how many years has that deer had that yeah. in his head, eh? Wow. And uh so he's boiling it, now he sees this broadhead there, and he, well, he was wondering what this thing was, and it's uh, it's about this long, right underneath his, right underneath his eyeball, and they figure it was triggered by the arrow mm -hmm. going in. Huh. And so he grew a horn out the cheek. Yeah, and so now he's got the skull with the with the rack. That's cool. But uh, but a uh, 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 two inch. Fucking antler come out of his cheeks. Wow. Yeah. So, wow. Well, I remember hearing about a guy who says, Oh, I always shoot deer in the head. Well, one day he said he was shooting deer and the, the jaw the jaw dropped down. And the deer ran away. When well, he broke his jaw, the deer's gonna start to death. Mm-hmm. You know, never gonna eat again. Yeah. But he's not gonna eat that deer. Yeah. Well that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Don't shoot deer in the fucking head. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Shoot him. Where it's gonna kill him. Yeah. Shoot him in the head would be just like shooting you in the in the chin. Well, you're gonna take a long time to die. You may die, but you're gonna take a long time to die and be misery and you won't be able to eat all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, you wanna do that to a deer? No, I would not. No. And then it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's not like I can do that and then I'll get the deer. Well, mm -hmm. no, he's gone. Yeah. So, waste. Yeah. Waste, <clears throat> greedy, exactly. stupidity. Yeah. Ignorance. Yes. Hatch day. Is that is that hatch day? With a hatch day. When the groundhog sees its shadow. Where's <laughs> 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 the groundhog's <laughs> hatch <That's>, egg? <laughs> groundhog don't do eggs and see their shadow. The question was. <laughs> when the groundhog sees its shadow. When is your birthday? First day of spring. What is it, March 20th was, or 21st? That was the answer, first day of spring. And this man seems to think that when the groundhog sees his shadow, <laughs> Gord was spawned. I think we rushed. <laughs> I think we rushed. <laughs> All right, put it back in then. We're not ready yet. Whoa, here I was. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, lady, saddle down. Learn how to cook, eh? Oh, there's the dangler waiting Great for Northern you. Ontario. Ontario. We'll put him in there. See, they're just still a little frozen under there. Oh, I didn't know they were fucking frozen. I mean, yeah. Alright. I thought for sure it would be like papaya. Mm. There's no papaya in that, is it? I thought it was fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah, butter tarts. Yeah, butter tart pumpkins. But, okay. <coughs> but anyhow. I need pumpkin butter tarts. So we're going to. Again and again and again. Is this Groundhog Day? Yeah. Well, our Groundhog Day is on February the second. The tooth. When the Groundhog <laughs> sees its shadow. It's the tooth. It's the next to the three. Okay. Oh, you're on the third. No, that was third. <laughs> you're on the first. No, because on the tooth, on, on the, the tooth, tooth is when the Groundhog says six months more. Oh, what spring. The fuck. Oh no, no, I'm going down here. Yeah. That's what says, you know. So that's your birthday? No. <laughs> When's your birthday? First of spring. March 20th or 21st? Yeah. 
<laughs> Which one is it? it you have the same it, birthday as my brother. It, it well, and same birthday as the guy who gave me that big knife there. Okay. Same birthday as my favorite fishing partner out in BC. And how we find that out is when we're filling out the fishing license, he looks and he says, Hey, that's my birthday too. What did it say on the fishing license? Mr. Day. You have a fishing <laughs> It asked. It didn't say. <laughs> that was optional. <laughs> that was When's optional. your birthday, Gord? March the... The tooth? First day... No. <laughs> Oh, first day of spring. Is that what you? I doing? told you I would tell. That's what we were doing. Yeah, I would. I saved it though. <laughs> March the second. Yeah, that's good. That's the tooth, isn't it? Yeah, March the tooth. Yeah. Yeah. March the tooth sounds like a fucking badger walk. March the tooth, 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 tooth. Oh, you know the badger though, man. Mm -hmm. Holy yeah. crap. How am I going to make a video out of this? Because he's not a badger. He's more of a um, bitcher. <laughs> a sand scratch. A sand scratch? Sand scratch. Sasquatch. Oh, Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Yeah, he's more of a Sasquatch. No. No. Migratory from where? DC? Well, I tell you, after the accident with my Sasquatch was squashed. <laughs> <laughs> there were no children after that. Oh, yeah, an accident down there. No. Sack squashed. <laughs> Sack squashed. Yeah, there were no children. <laughs> Is that where you come out, Gary? Uh, no, that, that's why the screen came along. You know, when, it's, when you see all these Sasquatch moves and say, well, you know what's the Sasquatch when you hit the screen? No, you just had an accident. No, they call it the Big Eddie, eh? That's what they called me before the accident. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now it's Tiny Tim. Now it's Tiny Tim? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Hey, get Tiny Tim? That's not bad. That's horrible. Oh, that's horrible. Crap. <laughs> Holy crap. Tiny <laughs> Tim, it didn't go in there. He just can't go in out of the bedroom. Get out of there, Stitch Berry. Yeah, he's eating the glossets out of the litter box. He better not. Oh no, he's got snacks glossets. here. He does sometimes think go wonder. We got snacks for Stitch. Free snacks. I wonder they don't have that special sauce on them. I wonder what goes on no. in his brain. He's saying, what the fuck is these adults doing? You know, these people, you know. Yeah. <coughs> well, we're going to go take a walk later. But he's like, like okay, he's thanks for the laughs. Right? That was funny. Always a good time with Gordo. What Lunch. about Big Kev? Yeah, Big Kev too. Um, Alexander Berry. Yeah. yeah. And I thought that was the fashion yeah. statement. And Sugar yeah. Bear. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, laughs are always good. Laughter is the best medicine, folks. <laughs> and we're trying as much medicine as we can tonight. Yeah.